Welcome to the Middle Atlas Mountains of Morocco, home to towering cedar forests, endangered Barbary monkeys, and a variety of other wildlife. Today, we cross the Middle Atlas and journey through spectacular landscapes on our way to Morocco's apple capital, Medelt. When we arrive, we'll hike the rim of a stunning gorge and create memories of a lifetime with local villagers. We're Chris and Lydia. Come raving with us today as we leave the historic medieval town of Fez and head south towards the Sahara. That's our luggage and that's our bus. The Aussie flag at the front. We're heading out of Fez at the moment and we're going to be heading today on a bit of a drive up into the Atlas Mountains. Today we're crossing the middle Atlas Mountains. We're looking forward to seeing the cedar forests and hopefully catch a glimpse of the endangered Barbary monkeys. This is a supermarket. We're going to buy some lamb, I think, and maybe some beef. What do you think, Lydia? I'm going to stock up. Stock up on some food and go have a picnic lunch. It's a big supermarket. Oh, okay. 25, what's that? $4. Like that. It's cheap. The salad for the chicken was one thing. Okay. Oh, well, this is the place to come if you want to eat cheaply. So, this is five dirhams. Five dirhams? For Malka, compared to about 20. 20 in the Riyadh? Yeah, in the Riyadh. So, it's much cheaper to buy it in the supermarket. So, you're stocking up on water? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She's on a mission. Let's do the, the cake section. What's on? What's all this? Rice, is it? Different types of rice, goodness. And pastas. And look at these spices here. Wow. And all these different types of olives. Goodness, there's two rows of it. Olives as far as the eyes can see. The Atlas Mountains stretch for about two and a half thousand kilometres, forming a natural barrier between the lush green Mediterranean Morocco to the north and the arid Sahara to the south. The Middle Atlas is the northernmost section of this range. Cedar tree forests cover much of the Middle Atlas Mountains and tribes of the endangered Barbary macaque monkeys roam free in the higher altitudes. up in the mid Atlas Mountains now, the cedar trees and the monkeys, we've seen some monkeys. Hey monkey, hello. <laughs> the weather's a bit fresher, uh, a bit cooler. We came through Ifram which is uh, known as the uh, Switzerland of Morocco 
Uh, the, the roofs of the buildings are all got a steeper pitch to them because it snows a lot and people go there skiing. It's again very different countryside, contrasts a lot to the medieval cities below and you feel like you could be anywhere up in the Canadian countryside somewhere, that's what it feels like. Probably hear the birds all singing in the background and it's just so peaceful here. That was interesting, we were just admiring how strong the dung beetle was at pushing its big piece of poo around and then we almost got knocked over by a herd of sheep. Seems to be a abundance of wildlife up here. After crossing the highest peaks of the Middle Atlas Mountains, the landscape transforms. The tall cedar forests begin to thin out, giving way to more rugged terrain. But it's not just the scenery that changes. As we travel further, the appearance of Berber camps signals a cultural shift from the European-influenced north to the traditional nomadic south. The Berber, or Imazean people, are the indigenous inhabitants of Morocco. Isolated in the mountains, they have preserved their ancient languages and customs, maintaining a rich cultural heritage that's lasted for centuries. During the winter months, these plains would be covered in snow. So the nomadic people head south to the Sahara. But in the summer, it gets too hot in the Sahara and they head back up into the mountains. They move themselves and their families and their livestock. Whenever they need money, they sell one of their livestock. A sheep or a donkey. Camels are worth the most. You see lots of little tent villages popped up around the plains. Beautiful countryside, rugged countryside, I guess. Nothing much can grow through the winter months when it's covered in snow.
Looks like a nice spot for a picnic. Enjoying a lovely lunch by a bubbling brook. As we drive south, we cross the high barren plateau that connects the Middle Atlas to the High Atlas Mountains. On this plain lies the town of Medelt. By the time you reach Medelt, you've essentially left the Middle Atlas Mountains behind, and the higher peaks of the High Atlas begin to take shape as you approach the city. Still got a little bit of snow left on the mountain. Welcome to Medelt. Medelt is the so-called Apple Capital of Morocco. It's a relatively new city, developed as a mining town and administrative centre during the French Protectorate just over a century ago. It's not a big city, but it has a certain charm. Medelt feels a bit like a frontier town in the American Wild West and I half expect a tumbleweed to blow down the street at any moment. It might not look like fertile farmland, but the area around Medelt is known for its rich agricultural soil and particularly for apple farming, and Medelt serves as a market town for the wider region. That's our accommodation. This is our Villa in Medelt. It's called Villa Medelt. I love this door. Look at the intricate carvings on the ceiling and the walls. A little bit more basic <laughs> than the previous couple of places we stayed, but uh, it's intricate downstairs. The decoration downstairs is amazing. In the living room area, let's have a look what our view is like. It's a door, so maybe we can go out here. Let's have a look. Oh, we can. Look, we've got a balcony. We've got a balcony. Yeah. It's quite nice out here. So we'll go for a walk now and see what there is to see in the Delta. Here's the apple fountain. As the afternoon shadows began to lengthen, we hopped back on the bus for a short drive outside of Medelt to go for an easy hike. We didn't know what to expect, but we were promised it would be worth the effort. And boy, they weren't joking.
green burst at the end of the gorge. How good was that? That was amazing. We've just, Incredible. the scenery around here was spectacular. We just got dropped in the middle of nowhere from the bus and we just walked out into the dirt, into the fields. And all of, all of a sudden we came across this huge gorge and out of nowhere. It just opened up in front of us. It was amazing. And the, the light on the, the high the Atlas mountains. Setting, it was uh, beautiful. Yeah, it was Incredible. amazing. And then we walked along the gorge and all of a sudden, at the end of the gorge, there was this splash of greenery and the trees opened up and there's a little village at the end of it. Hello, donkey. He's staring me down. <laughs> What's your feet? You're gonna stand on donkey poo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, listen. Awesome. <laughs> Am I? A miniature donkey. Yeah. They're not that big really. You could have a normal size one. Actually no, no, I I'll, I'll take my words back, I'm not gonna a donkey. <laughs> People in the village come in, welcomed us, so the kids everywhere. They had a soccer game going and we all joined in, played a game of soccer and then we brought some soccer balls from Australia, we pumped those up, gave them to the kids and uh, they were over the moon. It was a great, it, it was incredible. It's a, amazing experience. Yeah, no, the light as you're taking photos and just the sun was setting and it was perfect. Yeah. Um, setting for photography and just, wow, yeah, incredible. I want to come back again. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Overall, it's been a great day and uh, we look forward to seeing what's in store tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching our video today. And also, thank you for all the lovely comments we've received so far on our Moroccan vlogs. We really enjoy hearing from everyone, particularly all the lovely people of Morocco who love their country so much. Please keep the messages coming because we love to hear where you're from and what you're up to. And please subscribe to our channel as we have so much more of Morocco to show you. Until next time, bye for now.